Hello, Jose here at Rick Motec. A few weeks ago, I had a customer call me and they were asking about how to remove the halo from the F4 car they were running. And at that time, I couldn't figure it out off the top of my head. So I had to sit down on iRacing. And when I went to go look for it in the place that I thought it was, it wasn't there. So certainly they moved it in one of the updates. And after looking around for a little while, uh, I found it and I'm gonna show you where it is. To remove the halo, you're gonna first obviously wanna jump into a session. And once you're in, you're gonna click options, navigate down to graphic, and then looking at here in the middle column, I'm gonna come all the way down to hide obstructions. Hide obstructions then has a drop down menu here with the different options. So we have none, cockpit halo, pillar roll cage, or all. None is going to not affect any of the halos or the uh, pillar roll cage in the cars that um, this is affecting. Uh, the cockpit halo will only remove the halo from cars that, that have that option. And then the pillar roll cage option will do the same for the cars that are running uh, a pillar um, or a roll cage that's kind of in the way of the field of view. All, it's going to apply that to both styles of cars. So if you set it with all, any car you drive that has that, um, whether it has a halo or a roll cage, uh, that's gonna remove it automatically for you. Since in this case, I'm doing the cockpit halo, I'm gonna click cockpit halo. I click done, and then just to test it, we can jump in the car and we can see here that the halo is slightly less opaque. This allows us to just much easily look through the halo and be able to look through the corner. I hope that helped you out if you were looking to figure out how to remove the halo on one of your open wheel cars. If you're looking for more sim support, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. See you later.